it's like okay, so we're gonna be talking about the midheaven, the tenth house. You know, that house ruled by Capricorn and Saturn that pretty much dictates your public image in a sense where um, it's how people see you online or at work and yeah, and how you achieve things. You know, I'm going to be talking about how each midheaven um, achieves goals, I guess. That's how what I'm exactly going to talk about. Where the drive lands in the midheavens and how they achieve said goals that are long term. Anyways, cue that cringy intro, fam. Um, why am I, um, doing the Midheaven first? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Basically, um, the Midheaven, like I said, is your public image, your public persona, your public whatever, how you act at work or on the internets. And where are we right now? The internets. The beautiful place called the internet. You don't know what you're gonna find here. You're gonna find some really weird shit. But other than that, you're not seeing my ascendant at the moment. You're seeing my very um, influenced midheaven. So that's what you're seeing for me right now. You're not seeing what I, what face I put on at parties or like the face I put on when I first meet people. You're seeing a totally different face from me. <laughs> and usually um, when you see um, someone's content or hear it or I'm not really sure you know when when you see someone on social media or hear someone on social media you are probably you you are getting their midheaven and usually the midheaven squares the ascendants mine doesn't but usually that's the case so basically I guess I am just going to talk about what you know from the internet and the people from the internet rather than um, what you'd see from these people on the internet at parties. I might do another video explaining how the sun signs would be at parties if you want me to, but we're going to be talking about how the midheavens conquer their goals. So let's move on. Aquarius. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. But basically, you know how I used a tinfoil thing to reflect light in my Capricorn video and how I said that Capricorn's basically a testing ground for Aquarius? Well, I'm using that same thing in that same logic for this video, using that tinfoil thing. Hey, and you know, it's, it's working. It, it really is. You know, you can probably see more in my room. I'm sorry. But anyways, Let's move on to the Aquarius Midheaven, okay? You know, Capricorn's where all the hard work is done and the solidifying, knowing where you stand. Um, Aquarius is just kind of messing around at this point. You know, you know where you stand, you just want to get other people on board. You're just chilling. You're kind of correcting whatever the heck you did in Capricorn along the way and when this is the Midheaven. Do things get weird? Yeah. You know, this is one of the meme midheavens. They aren't, you know, unintentionally offensive or just naturally offensive. They just want to shock people, so they sometimes will use offending people as a sense to shock people. So, that's what's really up with them, you know. But other than that, the Aquarius midheaven is just an erratic midheaven, okay? They want to be all over the place. They want to do this and they want to do that and they just want to do whatever and they need a work environment to do that. You know, with projects, they need to have freedom. Okay, they need to, they need some independence sometimes. They don't have to be the boss, but they need to like have an environment where it's chill and where they're comfortable, but not like a tourist comfortable. It's just like they don't, they can't be in a, you know, an office, like, setting all the time. 
you know, they'd rather be outdoors or somewhere weird, you know? They'd rather be at Starbucks writing stories. That's what I, like, associate with Aquarius, I guess. They're the ones to go to coffee shops and have stickers on their laptops saying, I'm not your ordinary person. I don't even know. That didn't even make sense. It kind of did. Anyways, um, so that's really what I think of Aquarius in that sense, okay? They are not down with offices. They're not down with that beaming fluorescent light. They are not down with that fluorescent light. They want to, like, throw a rock at it, okay? They are not... They ain't down, okay? They don't like fluorescent lights. So... Obviously, they want something more natural, more comfortable in that sense. They want to be in groups because this is the sign of groups. This is humanitarianism, okay? This is spreading whatever the fuck you did in Capricorn. But it is in the house of Capricorn. And when that's the case, obviously, the purpose is just to express yourself and gather people in groups and talk to them about things. And that's what basically you are. You are the one that kind of just spreads your ideas. You're not necessarily the boss, but you have strong opinions. And you pretty much spread them to others. Um, and, you know, there needs to be freedom within that. Um, usually, Aquarius is associated with science because, you know, it does exalt Mercury, which is the minds. Um, but also Aquarius is just kind of weird and occultic-like because they do exalt Pluto too. So they're also, you know, into occult things. They can be making astrology videos like me at the moment. So that's basically where Aquarius midheavens are at. They need to be all over the place. You know, they need to ha have changing you know, scenarios in projects, when it's, when it does come to science, they need to, you know, analyze things and research things and use their brain and use logic and come up with different solutions to problems. You know, that's in their realm, you know, they, that's pretty much an example. Are all Aquarius Midheaven scientists? No. They need to really just delve into that sense, though, where Anything can happen at any moment because the world is very all over the place. And, you know, Capricorn isn't like that. They're steady and slow and they just want to do things at their own pace. Like Taurus in a sense, but they also work hard like Virgo. You know, they just, they just want to get shit done. And they only have one thing because they want to get shit done. But, you know, you know, their neighbor wants somewhere, wants to be in the place and be in projects where they can just come up with random solutions at random times and pe like piece things together and not follow tradition 24-7. Does Capricorn follow tradition 24-7? No, this is where tradition kind of breaks, but you know, with Aquarius, this is where tradition like, you know, breaks and all hell breaks loose. And sometimes it's for the better, sometimes it's for the worse, you know, it's basically Aquarius. You know, you never really know. And basically, all they have to do is just solve things their own way and have people not being on their ass about it. Um, and Aquarius Midheaven is Miley Cyrus, and I think that's pretty obvious. I don't even have to further explain. <laughs> you know, she went from child star on Disney to wearing a dildo and have, dressing up like a unicorn to, in like, th th that phase. I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's taking over Katy Perry right now, though. And then, the, the, like, you know, this phase right now where she's like, I smoke a lot of weed. I did smoke a lot of weed. I'm against weed now. I am a mom against weed. And you better listen to me. Because I'm a mom against weed and I'm that sweet little child star again, you know? I'm an Aquarius Midheaven, and you don't know what to think about me because I'm all over the place, you know. I was wearing a dildo, like, a couple of years ago, but now I'm here. And, you know, I 
that I totally did not copy Melanie Martinez. You know, that, that, no, I'm, I'm not that person anymore. I'm this person. And that, that, that's Miley Cyrus, you know. I couldn't think of a better example. I mean... Yeah. Thank you.